What's up everyone? Welcome to Rocks 3D Studio. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a uh, video overlay on top of an existing video clip. So let's go ahead and get to it. I've already got my video clip loaded in here that we can put our overlay on. So navigate to where you have your clip and drag it down into the sequencer. And for this one I'm going to delete the audio since I don't need it. Select the video clip and you notice that you can't see the underlying clip at this point. The default blend is set to cross. We need to set this to screen. Most, if you're doing an image, um, an image overlay, you're going to want to pick alpha over. But in this case, we have uh, just an MP4, MP4 video clip. So we're going to have to set that to screen. And now we can see our underlying video here. So when we go ahead and play this, it's going to lag a little bit because I did not set up the proxies for this video clip. I went ahead and cut away to create the proxies for this project just so we can get rid of that lag. So let's go ahead and hit play this time. And you can see the overlay looks good over the initial video. Now this initial, the original video clip with the coffee cup is uh, looks like 30 frames per second. The animation clip was created at 60 frames a second and initially when I had looked at it it was way too fast but even at 30 frames a second looks fairly decent. But I want to show you how to speed up or slow down the clip just in case you need to uh, do that with any of your video clips. With the video clip selected you want to click add, effect strip, and then speed control. With the speed control selected go over here to strip and we need to switch that to screen like the uh, video clip was and you see here you have a multiply speeds. Right now it's at 1 so it's just playing at its normal speed. Let's set it to 2 and play that. And you can see it's going a lot faster there. Well, Let's set this down to 0.5 and then play that. Oh, and you see that it disappeared before it could finish because that slowing down the speed of course is going to take some more frames so we need to adjust the length of this so it does play out in full. So let's select this handle of the video clip and drag it out. I'm just going to pull it out to well where are we at here? 120 some so let's just do 240, 245, just essentially doubling the frame range. And let's go ahead and play that. And you can see we still need to do something to have that whole animation play out. With the speed control selected, let's uncheck the stretch to input strip length. Change the speed factor to 1. Now let's give it a shot. Slow, but it does play out in full. So, When you're using a speed control, it's good to have the stretch to input strip length checked off. So you have the speed factor to work with and the multiply speed as well. And you notice over towards the end here we have this little bit of extra that's not used. You can just find the last frame of that animation, select that right handle of the video clip and press shift S. And that just truncates it to the end of the animation you don't have that little extra uh, hanging out there. And that's really all there is to it uh, to add a video clip over an existing clip if you have alpha transparency in that 
additional clip. Now, if you had rendered out the animation as individual uh, PNG images, you could use the alpha over function rather than the screen uh, function as we did with this video clip. I hope this was at least somewhat useful. Uh, please let me know in the comments below, and we'll be seeing you. Goodbye.